Hey everybody, Mr. PF here again. I had a lot of requests on how to build one of my PC auto clicker boxes. So today I'm going to show you how to build one of the two speed auto clicker boxes, like the one that I'm showing you here. This is kind of a streamlined process and something that you can do with household materials. This is going to be aimed at being able to build it for under $30 and be able to be pretty efficient. I also want to mention that I'm going to be giving this auto clicker box away at 500 subscribers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. So anyway, back to the auto clicker box. So I'm going to have the parts list in the description for everything that you're going to need to accomplish this project. Here I'm showing you my servo, and I already have the arm mounted on the servo, and I'm showing you that I have it mounted perfectly in the center. So when you turn the servo arm each way, it stops at the same spot. So now we're just going to jump right into the project. We're basically going to be using just a regular CD or DVD, whatever you have laying around for a mounting platform because it's fairly strong and they're available. You're also going to need a spare mouse. I like to use these HP ones because they're fairly good quality. Some of the cheap ones will wear out fast and the clickers don't last very long on them. And so what you're going to want to do here is just kind of arrange the mouse into a position that you like and also a position where the servo is going to be able to click it when the arm actuates. So now once you get them arranged into a position that you like and you think that's going to work good, just go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and put a liberal amount of hot glue on the CD and then just press your mouse on there and let it dry. So I'm going to jump forward to where my mouse is already dry and once your mouse is dry what you're going to want to do is make sure your servo is lined up again and make sure that when the servo arms move that it's going to click the button of your mouse and actually click it down and make sure it gets a good click and engages the mouse all the way. And once you get that, go ahead and put some hot glue on the CD again, and then press the servo into that position. So you're going to have a small window of time before the hot glue cools, and you're going to be able to wiggle the servo around a little bit to get it into the position that you want it, and make sure that it clicks down and engages the mouse all the way. So now you can go ahead and push that out of the way, and we're going to move on to our Arduino chip. I'm just using these cheap Arduino clones for this project because they work for the purpose and I like to just apply a little bit of hot glue on the bottom like I'm showing here and stand it vertically upright so that way you still have access to the pins and you can be able to program the chip fairly easy. So now we're going to work on the connector. Basically what you're going to need is a razor blade and be able to repin it. What we're going to do is just lift the little plastic tabs up and pull the orange and the red wire out. We're going to put the red wire in the position where the orange wire used to be, and then we're going to put the orange wire off by itself. So usually once you repin or put the red wire back in, you're going to have to take the razor blade or a small little screwdriver and push the tab back down in order for the wire not want to come back out. So now I'm just going to grab a little piece of electrical tape and wrap it around the orange wire connector so it's not exposed when we plug it into the Arduino. Now go ahead and grab your spare USB cable and you're going to want to have one end cut off of it and have the positive and negative wires already exposed like I'm showing here and once you have that you're going to want to take a lighter or some kind of wire stripper and expose the positive and negative wires of the connector on the servo and then once you have those exposed just go ahead and twist them together like I show you here and put a little bit of electrical tape to hold them together also you could also solder this if you have the convenience of soldering but just for the purpose of this video I'm showing you how to do it with the bare necessities. If I were to be making one of these boxes to sell, each one of these wires would have been flexed, tinned, and then it would have been heat shrinked after it would have been soldered just for a more permanent and better connection. So now here the project is pretty much wrapped up besides the software part. You have the positive and negative connector from the servo onto the 5 volt and the negative of your Arduino, and you have your signal pin hooked up to pin 13. Before you program it, I always unplug my signal pin, so that way the servo is not going crazy. But now we're going to go to the computer. So now that we're over here at the computer, I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of the code. We have our two event intervals, which at these numbers, it will select the code that it's going to run depending on which pin that you have it on. And we're going to scroll down here. And basically we have it connected to pin 13, which is going to be the faster clicking speed for something like Alking. And so if you go over here, you can see that the servo that it's connected to is pin 13. We have the position moved from 51 to 46 and from 46 to 51. Pretty simple. And then the delay is randomized via the random sequence that's in the code. So now we're going to go ahead and scroll back up here a little bit. 
so you can select the parameters. If you're using the exact clone that I'm using, you're going to want to make sure your Arduino settings are set up just like mine here. I'm going to open up the tools so you can see which one I have for my board and which processor I'm using. So if you're using the same clone as mine, once you have the parameters set up the way they are, you should just be able to go ahead and hit upload and it should upload the code to your Arduino board. So sometimes these Arduinos can be a little bit tricky if everything is not just right, and this is a perfect example. I just had mine plugged in on the wrong USB port than what I usually plug it in on, and so it didn't upload right and gave me an error. Once I swapped my USB ports and I hit upload, it uploaded just fine without a hassle. So as you can see, we're back at our project, and the servo arm is actually not clicking the mouse button. The reason behind that is the position is actually off in the code, and this will vary depending on your mouse and depending on what you're actually using for materials. So to fix that, you're going to unplug the USB cord and unplug the signal bar from the Arduino, and then plug your programming cord back in, and then we're going to go back over to the computer to fix the code. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and scroll down to where you can see where it says my servo attach and it says 13 so that's going to be the command that works on pin 13 for the servo and so right now you can see it's moving from position 51 to 46 and then it moves from 46 to 51 and so we're going to go ahead and just change that from the initial position of 46 to position of 39 and so that's just going to move the servo arm over a little bit further and it's going to allow it to make contact with the mouse button in order to make it click. So now if you look in the coding, there's not only a position for pin 13, but there's also a position for pin 12. And that's going to be the slower speed for something like using a cannon or splashing or whatnot. And you're also going to want to change that position to the same position that you adjusted for the other one. Now this may be something that you're going to have to do a handful of times just to get your clicks in the right position because you don't want it clicking too hard and you don't want it to not click every time. So it may take a little bit of playing with the positions in order to get it just right. So now you just click build again and upload it to your Arduino. So here you can see we're back at our project and once you plug the USB in, if your positions are right, you should have a little something that's looking just like I have here where it's clicking down and it's making complete contact with the mouse and clicking it just like it should. Now you have built your own auto clicker. So here I'm just going to actually plug in the mouse and give you a little look at how it's actually working and how it's clicking on the computer screen. As you can see it's working fully randomized just like it should and if you wanted to switch it to the slower speed all you have to do is unplug it from pin 13 and plug it in pin 12. You can also add a toggle switch between the two if you want quick switching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.